Well, I've got a hive, or a nuke rather, that isn't really doing much of anything. So, I'm gonna pop the top and just see if there's bees in them there hive. And then I've gotta go in another hive and make sure they've raised a queen. I've got the camera a little closer today. Usually I have it so far away you can't see anything fun. I think that should be up. Oh no. There's plenty of bees in there. There's a queen cell on this one. So I'm just going to let it sit. I'm not going to bother them. They're doing what they're supposed to be. They don't have a lot of bees coming out the front, which just means they don't have a lot of foraging bees right now, which is probably not a surprise because when I put the frames in here, all the forager bees flew out, got their pollen, and headed back to the original hive that I split. And the bees that are in there are called nurse bees because they take care of the brood. As they get older, they will become forager bees and they will fly out of the hive and collect honey. So in about a week, I expect to see a lot of foragers coming out of this hive. But right now, they're just taking care of themselves. They got plenty of honey and plenty of pollen so they can raise brood while they're waiting for that queen to hatch. And I didn't show you the queen cell in there because I don't want to disturb it. Oh, hello. This one is not happy that I'm in here. I'm sorry. Go away. All right, you can buzz at me. All right, now I'm gonna go in this larger hive. It has no queen. So what they've done, I hope, is they've raised an emergency queen from some young brood. Like I said in the previous video, um, queens are the same as any other bee, as any other worker bee, except they're fed a different diet. So, what they did was they took a worker bee larva and made, I hope, a queen out of it. And that's what I hope to see when I go in here, but I gotta get all the way down into this box because that's where it was. Okay, now I have to take this one off. See how calm they are? I'm not even smoking them. As long as I don't. There we go, see the vibration? They don't like that. Sorry, girls. Okay. Now, see, I marked it with an N. That means I notched it, and that frame should have the queen on it. And you can see all these busy bees right here. They're around the brood, keeping it warm. Should be about 95 degrees. So they're not gonna like it when I come in here. Because they don't have a queen, they might be a little testy. So right where I pull this out, I'm hoping to see big peanut looking things, which are queen cells. So let's see. Oh, there we go. These are queen cells. There's another one here. See these queen cells? These are where they are raising queens. Oh, there's another one there. So let's see if any of them are filled. Yep. So if you look in the queen cells, I don't know if you can see it, but inside there is larva full with like a white goo. That white goo is um, royal jelly and they're gonna feed usually most worker bees get a couple of days of royal jelly the queen bees get their whole feeding period full of royal jelly that's what makes them a queen so there's a lot more queen cells there than I want I only want to leave two because this hive doesn't need more than one queen um, and usually what happens one queen will come out first and she'll go and kill the rest of the queens. See, they're getting a little upset. 
because they're a little testy right now because they don't have a queen. So they have <laughs> a little less patience than the other hives.